You'd expect to find a spruce sapling here, but it's absent. The ground is compact, grass is sparse, and the shrubs appear altered. The common misconception is that mammoths were merely large herbivores roaming the earth until they went extinct. The reality is much more complex. Mammoths functioned as ecosystem engineers, actively shaping the mammoth step through trampling, grazing, digging, and nutrient cycling. Their trunks weren't just for gathering food. They acted like bulldozers moving snow, tearing through shrubs, and exposing forage beneath. In the Yukon lowlands, survival during winter depended on access to food. Mammoths played a crucial role by breaking through icy crusts, sweeping away snow, and revealing grass that would otherwise remain buried. Their hooves compress the snow, limiting the insulation that protects shrubs. This constant movement fostered grazing lawns, areas tightly cropped that quickly regrew, filled with high-protein forbs. Mammoth dung fertilized the ground, while their activities spread seeds, ensuring that the steppe remained a grassland, preventing shrubs from taking control. A second misconception is that trees would have come anyway. In reality, shrub tundra thrives in deep, fluffy snow, and mammoths help prevent that excess snow from accumulating. As mammoths declined, shrubs gained an upper hand, snow deepened, soil temperatures rose, and permafrost were destabilized. This shift turned the landscape from dry grassland into wetter. Shrubbier tundra which looks green but hides valuable winter calories beneath soft drifts. Predators and humans interacted within this system, but understanding the engineering aspect alters our view. Mammoths weren't simply reacting to their environment, they were actively maintaining it. Remove these ecosystem engineers, and the habitat can collapse, even with minimal temperature changes. This can help clarify why the extinction of mammoths felt abrupt in some regions. The landscape lost its maintenance crew. Now, stand in a modern tundra willow patch and visualize it cropped low, flattened, and fertilized into a vibrant forb garden. Envision trails that resemble highways between salt pans and ridge tops. This was not a lonely world of giants. It was a carefully managed ecosystem that thrived until its caretakers were gone. Thank you for exploring this edited tundra with us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below with the next Ice Age myth about how they shaped the world that you'd like us to cover.